big fat wiener, big fat wiener, there's a big fat wiener, yeah. Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So last time we killed the last giant I'm pretty sure. And it looks like we didn't spend a single one of the souls we got from it. I'm pretty sure now that the last giant is dead, if we talk to this lady, she will officially move over to Majula. Okay, now she will move to Majula, which is good for us. Okay, so since... Right, I, I still need to spend my souls. What's wrong with me? Do I have any edible souls? I do. I am going to eat the last giant one because I know for a fact I'm not going to use it for anything. I might end up using the pursuer soul for something. I don't know yet. I will say after playing Elden Ring, it is a little bit annoying to have to go back to Majula every time I want to level up, but I still don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't think it's something to complain about. I think, actually... Even though it is different, and it does take a little more time, I think it's a worthy trade-off just for the world building here. Because it gives me a much greater connection with Majula. Okay, what did I need more of? Was it strength or dexterity? I may never know. Let me check. Okay, I want to check the stats for just the scimitar. Because I'll be getting a new scimitar soon. So it is 7 and 16, which means if, if we're going double, I can't remember if it's double or 150, but we're going double, that's 14 and 32. If we're going 150%, that is an uh, odd number. Let's go with the higher one. That's 11 and... 24. So let's get our dexterity up to. Yeah, let's just get dexterity as high as we can. There's not really any other stat we desperately need right now. Our health is pretty good for the moment. We will have to raise that up later, but we'll worry about that later. And here is Malentia. She is here now. And the best thing about getting her to come over here is that her stock is the same, except now she sells unlimited life gems. I think these are unlimited now, too. I don't know if they were before. But life gems are unlimited, which means if you come back here to stock up, they're pretty cheap. You can have just a constant flow of 99 life gems. 
I both approve and disapprove of that method. Who knows, maybe power stancing could even just be the combined total of both of the weapons. So it's double if you're using two of the same weapon. What does this take? 11 and 10? If it is the combined total, I should be able to do it. <gasps> I can do it now! Oh my god. Alright, so... There is a second boss fight here, but we actually don't have to do it because we already killed him. So if I run... Ow, can I get just enough time to go through with my attack, please? Thank you. Why did my hit not even hit him? That was weird. Alright. Life gem, homeward bones. Those are both two useful things to have. Okay, I do have homeward bones equipped. So from the last giant, we got this key to open this door. We do desperately need to bring up our stamina. I can say that much for certain. Our stamina is not good. So typically, there would be a boss fog right here in this crevice, and you would fight the pursuer in here, but since we killed him on that rooftop before, he actually is just gone. So we don't have to fight him. Fighting him in that area is easier because it's a bigger area and you get the ballista that you can... Uh, if you time it right, you can shoot them with those ballista, and they do a buttload of damage. And... If you've played this game before, you know this will bring us to a specific spot. And actually, I'm not going to do anything when I get there. I'm actually going to go the other way. If you haven't played before, just have a tiny bit of patience and you shall see what I am talking about. I really can't tell if it's my capture card that's making the screen tearing so bad or if it's just because I'm on the 1.0 release of the game and that has bad screen tearing. I don't know. I usually play this game on the updated whatever the most recent update is, but for some reason, my Xbox isn't connecting to the internet, so I can't update the game to whatever the latest version. I'm playing on 1.0, so I hope there's no issues with 1.0 on this one, because Dark Souls 1, oh, 1.0 was rough. Yeah, so this brings us to the Lost Bastille. And technically you can just go through this side, this entrance, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do the stuff you can only do from this side. You lived. Now 
You ain't loving that. So we'll have a nameless soldier. I'll take that. Happily. Oh good, he doesn't pop up in this version. Uh... Yeah. Switch that ring for that. That ring makes it just so we get a lot more souls out of everything. And... We actually can't go back now. Yeah, just try it. Frankenstein. So on this, you have to be on this side to be able to open this door. So now I'm not going to do anything else here. I'm going to go back to that bonfire that's inaccessible now. And then I'm going to go through the other entrance. The entrance that I think is a much better way to progress through this area anyway. So we must go to Hyde's Tower of Flame. Or not Hyde, Hade. Hade's Tower of Flame. I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. I remember I called I used to call it something, but then I saw in like a trailer or some kind of promotional material they actually name dropped it in the video yeah swords aren't really great against these guys do I have any blunt instruments I got one I know I'm trying to go for more of a uh dual-handed uh, situation, but I only have one blunt weapon, and I really do need to use this for this area. Did I pull this lever? I did. Good. If you don't pull the lever, is that arena? You see that ring in it? That ring would be the size of the arena. I always found these sword guys to be really fun to fight. I've actually always just been disappointed that they have such little health compared to the other ones. I can say I do love this area. Even if you come here before the Forest of Fallen Giants, I think it's just an incredibly well-designed first area. And that brings up the other platform. But, we're actually not going to be going over there first. Come on. Oh, 
I just love when games incorporate mechanics like honor into their enemies. The guys with swords and shields will not attack you when there's one of the big sword guys unless you either kill him or try to run past him. If you fight with Ana, he lets you 1v1. Same thing with the two in that room. They both just stand back and let you fight him unless you try to run, and then they'll both chase you down. But if you kill him, then they'll both come at you, but if you fight one over where they spawned, the other will leave you alone until he's dead. Now you can you can see why I uh, wanted a blunt instrument. And I just top up our health. Five human effigies? Jesus. Ring of Binding is important. That makes it so it halves the maximum health reducing effects of dying. So instead of your max hollowness bringing you to 50% health, it'll bring you to 75% health. Now this is an awesome fight. This is just a uh, Orange Steam from the last game, but you get to fight him alone. Now, I played this game first, so when I went back to the first game and fought Orange Steam and Schmo, I fought them with the context of having already fought just Orange Steam. That's gonna kill me. Wasn't expecting him to follow up with that. But I feel like it would have been cool even coming from the first game, because... I mean, Smo as a fight, not too great, and I almost always fight Smo alone anyway. But Ornstein is a fight that I think works so much better when he's alone. Okay, now that we pulled the lever there, we can just run past them. I, I recommend killing everything on your first run through there so you can pull the lever without getting absolutely bodied in the butt. And you gotta be very fast here because he will block that exit. But yeah, I just think it's really fun to fight Orenstein on his own. It'd be a little bit nicer if I didn't die trying to do it, but... Alas, I need to uh, adjust my rolls for the very low amount of invincibility frames that I have. I'm still rolling with Dark Souls 1 mindset of those invincibility frames. And of course, I don't know any exact numbers. Oh, that hit me in my roll. Jesus. God damn it. I couldn't roll in time after the bottle. I think I might need more adaptability before I'm able to properly fight Orange Steam here. Because I don't drink my Estus fast enough for him to not instantly follow up with another thing. And I don't have enough invincibility frames to dodge some of those attacks as well as I would like to. So I think I'm going to just do that, get more adaptability before I try to fight that guy.
It's only 5,000 souls long, so that's not a huge deal. So let's go the intended route. I just think this place is just really beautiful. You saw a guy come all the way over here. You idiot. You fool. You fell for the oldest trick in the book. Okay, here's the dragon rider. Here's the first boss I ever fought, and all I had when I got to him was a dagger. Now, he is catching the back of my rolls, though, but that's not a big deal. He doesn't do a ton of damage. But we do. Also helps that he stuns super easily. Easiest boss fight in the game. That's not true, but one of the easiest in the game. suited to comprehend their wondrous power, but the cost of it, that's for your heart to decide. So she is the faith lady, and no she is also know. a massive piece of human waste. Did you try to call me? No. Oh, cool. Someone tried to They really should have lowered the price on the original version of the game when they made that, uh, newer version. If they did that, then I'd be playing on PC.
It's neat that they introduced the mechanic of the waist high water here. It slows you down, because that does come into play later. Do I have enough carry weight capacity to even change my stuff? I doubt it because I only have four vitality. My helm is heavier, but it's actually worse in general. That's depressing. Boots would bring me over. Is there a lighter helmet I can wear? Because I feel like the helmet doesn't do as much. Yeah, I lose like 10, but I gain like 20. Perfect. And I'm still not fat rolling yet. But I am out of that area, so I can switch back to my intended weapons. Here's another one of my favorite areas in the game. Probably a hot take, I know. Wouldn't be surprised if people hated it. What is it? I don't know you, and you don't know me. Things are better that way. Called Lucatil. From the land of Mira to the far east, across the mountains. They say Drang Lake brims with powerful souls. And so I came to claim my share. But what a strange place. Even Loomis did not prepare me. You are an odd one indeed. I've always made a point of avoiding people. While well, you've made a point of engaging me. I can see that you are Miss Jenny. If you require assistance, I will help you. I come from Mira, a land of night. My sword is always ready. Don't hesitate to call upon me. Whatever happens, I won't be missed. <laughs> Okay. What, you're still talking to me from there? That is Lucatil, one of the best characters in the entire series of Souls games. She'll show up a couple more times as we go through. Always loved her. Okay, I think I can also eat the Dragon Rider soul without feeling bad at all. Because what does that give me? His halberd? I don't want that. Bring the decks up. That's good. Let's bring our adaptability up. We want that agility stat right here to be at least 105, I think. Yeah. 
Honestly, bringing it up three points doesn't seem worth it right now. I would rather bring my vitality up by a tiny bit. That increases my equip load by six pounds. When I have more of a chunk to do at once, I'll do the adaptability. So probably once we kill this next boss, I'll come back and do adaptability. Uh, while we're here, let us become human. No Man's Wharf. Alright! I'm pretty sure this is a very unpopular area, but I actually really like it. Cause it's a pirate ship! It's a pirate ship! You just have to pay very close attention to ambushes. Oh, why am I going that way? Oh, that was almost bad. Thank god it wasn't bad, it was good. I'm so mad if I didn't save a Ferris Lockstone for here. Yes, back away from the light. Fear what gives me power. Uh, excuse you, that is not okay. Oh, just barely in time. Jesus Christ. That was not cool. I like to clear out the enemies in this area in a very particular order. Also be warned, if they do throw that stuff on you, that is oil. Do not light a torch. You will explode. And the reason we wanted the ferrous lockstone for here specifically is right here. Come on, stop doing that, that ain't cool. Well, that was rude.
bandit stuff. So if you didn't choose the bandit class and you want to be a bandit, you can do that. It's mostly for if you chose, like, deprived. This just right here, with that guy right there, is actually the first instance I realized that you can break the chests and get nothing out of them. Evil little monsters hate light, that's why you want to get that ferrous lockstone, otherwise they'll just be littered around here. Since they're so busy crowding the doorway trying to get in, I can kill that one easy. Bleeding doesn't actually do any additional damage. Oh, that's gonna catch me. Oh, I thought you'd be dead from that hit. No! Yeah, just barely enough health to get me. I dropped my guard because I thought he was going to be dead. That's an oof moment if I've ever seen one. Right, but this time will be a little bit easier because I activated the light. That's the most important part. So now I can kind of just rush through. However, I do want to check out whatever's in here. Oh, my God. Why? 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 Why would you do that to me, controller? Why would you do that? So do I need new batteries? All right, I got new batteries, so that shouldn't happen again. That was dumb. <laughs> I think the key factor to having fun with these games is to just not get mad when you die. Just, just have fun with it. Because as annoying as that kind of is, it, it's also pretty funny. Oh yeah, I didn't check out if I can wear anything new with my new carry weight limit. I can wear the full night set. Can I swap out any of the night set for the Drenglaic set? Well, I can't change out that piece. I also got shot in the face. Nope, can't even change the gloves. Okay, um... Will you stop shooting me? I don't like it.
Now we're just gonna run, 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 run. Keep run, run, running. And I am going to take one of these. This way I can scare them even inside the house. Or not, they've already decided they're not afraid of the light anymore. Well, that's bad. Ooh. Oh, I landed on the stair. I was gonna say, that was a lucky landing. Get butt stabbed. Or butt sliced, I guess. I do hate these guys with a burning, fiery passion of a thousand suns. That arm hit me! The issue with bleeding is it lowers your maximum stamina for a while and it also slows you down. Yeah, he's hitting me with the backswing there. It's just uncalled for. I forgot that there's so many of you. Jesus, leave me alone. Good lord. Get them one by one, they're not bad. It's just when they're in that group that they're rough. Stop hitting me with the backswing. See, 1v1, they're super easy. I believe the wooden chest is trapped. Poison or arrow, poison or arrow, it's poison, thank god. Poison's easier to dodge. Oh, I'm still in his... I, how was I still in its range? I was so far away. I don't have a poison heal. Oh, all that is for a silver talisman. Hello, Gavlon. Gavlon. Gavlon will. Gavlon deal. Gavlon wants soul. Many, many souls. <laughs> What you want. With Gavlan, you will, you deal. <laughs> so 
So Gavlon is the only NPC we can actually sell stuff to, so I'm going to sell everything that is not something I could even potentially consider using here. I'm going to keep the longbow. Actually, no, because we're not doing DLC. Not using the halberd. Use short sword or any of these daggers. I'm not gonna use axes. I don't need the morning star anymore. Perfect. Here I only like to sell duplicates of items I have. Since we're not a sorcerer, I'll just get rid of anything that affects spell slots. Or just any of these uh, stat buffs that I'm just never going to use. Many deal, many thanks indeed, Gavlin. I'm gonna stop power stancing it because these two power stands together is actually just going worse than having them not power stands together. I will say, I wish this level was a little bit more obvious. First time I went through this area, I missed it somehow. Jam, more life gems is always nice. So you got one of those stupid creatures down here, I think it does. It does. Is it only one? No, there's two. Can I get a backstab on him? No, I can't. Well, I don't think there's anything in there that I need anyway. This one that has the thing that I want. Oh, I forgot there's a nest of spots starting there. Yeah, this has multiple things that I want, because it also has... Damn it. Fading soul, large soul, and life gems. Nameless soul. But most importantly, got the Royal Soldier's Ring. That increases our maximum equip load by a sizable margin. Or not increases our max load, but like just decreases the load we're currently taking. So now I can wear that. Can't wear the gauntlets though. That's fine, look at us. We look so much more dapper now. 
Unfortunately, if you're looking at the left side of our screen, you can see our scimitar is almost broken. So we're going to have to go get that repaired before we continue. I'm stuck on the little wooden post. Oh, he just dropped a scimitar for me? Are you kidding? I can do a wield scimitars now. It doesn't look, there's like a body down there. It doesn't even have an item on it. That always confused me. Did they just forget to put an item on them? Okay, shortcut is unlocked. Now let's just teleport back to the bonfire. scythe. That's what I used in the last game. It was a great scythe. Okay, let's go back to Majula. Because first thing we're going to do is not even level up. First thing we're going to do is go to Lenegrast and ask him to upgrade our scimitars. First thing I'm going to do is uh, to upgrade my Estus flask before I forget about that. Must that give us five charges? Yeah. Oh, this whole time and I never once opened your door? <laughs> Oopsie. Rest, and now he'll be there. You, standing back. This is dangerous work. The name's Lenigrast. Just a simple blacksmith. And you are? Uh, ah, another useless traveler. A man ought to labor with his feet planted firmly in the earth. Not roll around like you fictitious vagabonds. Okay, I uh, reinforce. Got just enough to get both under plus four. Beautiful. And I can power stance them. Alright, now I'm going to start working on adaptability, even if it's just one by 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 one. Need to get that up because I want my invincibility frames to be higher. Let's go take out this boss, and I think that'll definitely be enough for this episode. We've been going for quite a while. I'm just gonna run past everyone. This is the path I would recommend taking.
Might not summon Luca Teal while we're here. Oh, the door closed itself. Okay, the light is on, which means the creatures should stay in that little box. I do have to talk to this guy, so I'm gonna wanna kill the guy chasing me at the very least. Scimitars is nice. Hmm. I see light, but it remains dim. I am Karuda, and my interest in the magic impaired. Hmm. I see light. I am Karuda. Oh yeah, you have to have a certain amount of intelligence for him to be able to even talk to you. He's the magic guy. So if you're a sorcerer, that's who you want to go to. Alright, Luca Teal, catch up with me. Personally, I would recommend trying to keep his mace-wielding side facing you. I find that one a lot easier to fight than the sword one. It is a whole lot stronger if you do get hit, though. Ow. You can tell my adaptability definitely still isn't high enough. Luca Teal, where are you? I'm almost down to life gems already. cooler bosses design wise. Can't even tell you how long it took me to realize that they're lizards. I was too busy focusing on the neat Siamese twin concept. Didn't even need you, Luke Teal. And this is where you can start your pyromancy journey if you want to be a pyromancer. I do really like that area. It's not easy, but I do actually like it a lot. So you get this, and this is badass. I 
didn't even realize those uh guys in that area is the Varangian, Varigians, whatever. I don't remember how it was spelled. Vagarians? Hungarian Vagarians? Varangian. Those Varangian knights in there. Varang? Varangian? It might be Varangian, actually. I never even thought of that. Those Varangian knights in there are, uh... I didn't know they could drop a scimitar. I thought I was gonna have to grab the scimitar you actually just find on the ground. Conveniently, you find it on the ground. Right... Here. So I guess if you want to do dual scimitars, and you don't get one of them to drop it, that's where you pick up your second one. The more you know. Alright, there's a couple items in these rooms. Nothing too amazing, but some pretty decent stuff, I suppose. And I'll never turn down souls. Was there a illusory wall in here, or am I just remembering something wrong? I feel like I always remember there being one there, but there just isn't. Some of these are open, too. I think it's this next set on the right. Yeah. I am actually going to do something real quick before I wrap this up. I am going to go to Majula and get my level ups, so we can start right here next time. God, what I would give to just forget this game and replay it anew. Just forget all the Dark Souls games and replay them anew. That's kind of what we're going to be going into with Dark Souls 3. I've never played that one past the tutorial section. So that one is the only one that is going to be new to me. And Demon Souls when we get to it. I just don't currently own the game. And I don't have a PS5 to play the remaster, or remake, or whatever it's considered. Oh yeah, that's a lot of souls. There. Give me more adaptability. Brings our agility stat up to. I didn't see it. Brings our agility stat up to 91. We're getting close to what we need. But.
with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.